everyone, it's Lisa Joy Young and today I'm going to show you how to do this Mardi Gras mask. It's um, turned out a little uh, busier than I originally expected it to be. Uh, but hey, whatever. I'm showing it to you anyway. Um, to do this, I used some products from Bexar Anthony's new uh, makeup line called True Effects. And there's some really cool stuff. Um, she has prosthetics like the one I used here and these. And you can paint them yourself and do really cool stuff with them. Um, these I think would actually be really good for a sugar skull. And I was originally going to do that, but I changed my mind last minute. But I think I'm going to use these for a sugar skull coming soon. Probably closer to Halloween. I'll do another one with the sugar skull. But uh, she has some really awesome stuff. She sent me a book to look at. And I love every single design in this book. I'll show you one. This one's my favorite. So cute. Oh my gosh. Awesome. So thank you to her for sending me this. I'll put her website down below. You could check out all of her different products. Um, but anyways, let's get on with the tutorial. Oh, really quick, before I forget, um, I did this mask based on a face painting Pasher did for me when I was at the Face and Body Art International Convention. So this is um, inspired by him. He's an amazing artist, and mine does not do what he did justice. Here's a picture of what he did on me. So this is my first time trying that technique like as a full mask and um, anyways it was fun to try and I hope that you guys enjoy watching this. Alright everybody so this is my new little lizard, well it's my kid's new lizard, her name is Callie and she's going to help me with the first step of the project which is going to be preparing our prosthetics. So here are the prosthetics. Um, I'm going to be using this one and these two butterfly ones and I'm actually going to cut that one up later. But uh, here's some more examples. Um, these are actually made with the clear latex. So she has like little skulls and wings. So she has a lot to offer. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and paint this before applying it to my face, just cause it'll make things a little easier. You can paint these with your face and body makeup. You can paint them um, with grease paint, airbrush makeup, um, whatever you have is fine. So I'm gonna get started on that right now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm just gonna be using my cake makeup for this. And I was, cause this is gonna be like a glittery mask, I was gonna put glitter on top of it, but then I realized the cool thing about these are all the texture and the glitter would cover that up. So I'm gonna just use my paint instead of glitter. Um, so I'm just gonna activate my paint, just like you would if you're putting it on the face. And um, just start kind of coloring it in. You could shade on here. I'm going to be outlining in um, black, so I'm going to leave that outline. But it's pretty easy, paint by numbers sort of thing um, compared to what we usually do. It's not very difficult at all. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to paint um, all the pieces. <gasps> Did she bite you? No, she licked me. <laughs> Maybe she's hungry. Let's get her. Go get her worms. Okay. All right, so I finished painting my prosthetic pieces. As you can see, I use the colors I'm gonna be using on the mask, reds, golds, greens, purples, and outlined in black with just a bit of shading. It was really easy. Um, the indentations in the prosthetic makes outlining and filling it in a no-brainer. So it's a little bit time-consuming, but it's not difficult. It's very simple. Um, Here's the butterfly I did. All right, so now it's time for the makeup. All right, so the first step of this design is to do the eye hole cutouts, and I wanna make sure that these are even, and um, so I'm gonna use white first instead of black. I don't usually do this kind of step, uh, but this is more of like a photo shoot look or you know, a runway look, so I'm gonna take a little extra time and make sure that I get it right. Alright, so I have some um, Diamond Effects White on my number three round brush, and I'm just going to go um, horizontal to the corner of my eye, and it's going to end in a point on both sides. So I'm going to put a little dot where I want it to start, and a dot um, about where I want it to end. So it's going to go in a diagonal on both corners of the eye. All 
right, so I have the shapes I like. I had to tweak it a couple times, so I'm glad that I decided to do it in white first. All right, so I have the outline of my eyes. Um, those will eventually get traced over with black, but not until the end. Now what I'm going to do is take one of the prosthetic pieces that I painted. I add a little bit of gold glitter on there to kind of tie it in with the rest of the mask since it's all going to be glittery. Now I'm not going to put this on yet. Um, I just want to get an idea of where it is so I know where to lay my colors with the paint. Um, so I'm just going to quickly trace it. And it's okay that I'm tracing it because I'm going to be shadowing with black. So this white will be covered up. I just want like a really rough idea of where it's going to be. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just do with white again. Um, I'm going to kind of outline the shapes of this. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I didn't plan this. I'm kind of winging it and I don't want to be, I don't want to commit to any colors right away because it might look bad. Um, and I want to make sure it's nice and even and white is very erasable. So I'm going to go ahead and start kind of sketching out my design and get a feel for what I want this to look like. Alright, so I have most of my design laid out. Um, that wasn't very easy, but if you're just careful, you can get it symmetrical. Um, a tip that I did is like, I would touch this side where this one end and then touch, you know, where it should end over here and then I'd keep my finger there. You could also draw a dot, that's another way to do it, but um, just remember to keep looking back and forth so that you get it all symmetrical. Alright, so there's the uh, middle of it, and I hope the camera is picking up on how sparkly and pretty this is because it looks so cool. I love it. Okay, um, now I'm going to start with the rest of it, and I'm getting my brush loaded up with fab, the Fab uh, Fire Red, and the dominant color in this design is going to be red, so I have the largest there red, and I'm going to do the largest uh, spiky things here red. Alright, so I got my whole glittery base and um, it looks really pretty so far, I'm excited. And I'm going to get some black and work on outlining it. Alright, so I did the outline um, of the eye holes like really thick and I'm trying to do the rest of it a little thinner to help it look more delicate and um, it is harder to keep straight lines with the glitter so just keep that in mind while you're doing this. Alright, so I got the whole thing outlined, and for the record, this is really hard to do on yourself, and I don't recommend it. Oh my gosh, this part was killer. Um, okay, but now I'm going to go ahead and add some whimsical little lines to go along with this. I'm going to get a really thin brush and some black, and get my um, paint kind of watery so that it makes really nice, crisp lines but not so watery that it's going to um, drip. Okay, very lightly, just on the tip of my brush, I'm gonna bring some swirls down here. So. Like, okay, now to kind of tie this in together, I'm gonna do a series of three teardrops. So I'm gonna start right here and go down. 
one, two, and three, like that. All right, so I'm done with all the paint work for the mask, and now I'm taking some lash glue. This is Duo, but it doesn't matter what kind you use. And my prosthetic, I'm gonna start with the butterfly. And um, as you can see, I just dotted some of the glue on the back of the butterfly, and I'm just waiting for that to get a little bit tacky so that it adheres to my skin better. And I'm also doing that to the little flowers that are going on the sides of the mask. All right, so I have my butterfly. I let it sit for a couple um, seconds, about 30 seconds. And I'm just gonna put it right in the center and press and hold for a little while. All right, so that blends in a lot right now and you can barely see it, but I'm gonna be um, shadowing around it with eyeshadow uh, later on and then it'll pop out a lot more. Alright, so I have all my prosthetics on. I'm going to go ahead and shadow them and do my eye makeup. Alright, so I'm all done with my um, Mardi Gras mask. It's, um, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> but hey, that's what happens when you just wing it and kind of be creative. You know, you never know what you're going to get. So hey, it's fun. Um, I hope you guys liked it and um, that you can maybe use it for inspiration. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful summer. I've missed you. I'm happy to be back. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And check me out on Facebook. I'm under Lisa Joy Young. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.